and welcome back to this channel ultimate beginners price action trading course this video will teach beginners how to prepare their trading setup before they place a trade i will show you how you can find the strength and weakness of the trend and enjoy the excitement of the trend breakout or reversal you will have fun if you enter the trade and the trend goes strongly in your direction. Finally, I will show you ways to find a strong uptrend, strong downtrend, and find the correct entry, exit, and stop loss. This way, you practice your price action trading strategy and make profit from the stock market. What do you have to do before you place a trade? First, find the direction of the trend second find the strength and weakness of the trend third find the right entry trigger and finally use proper stop loss how you can find the uptrend direction this is the price trend erf stock d1 time frame i installed simple moving average with 50 days period as you can see in this graph, the price is moving above the simple moving average all the time. You see that? And this is the characteristics of a strong uptrend because the, the price is always above the moving average. So when you trade in the direction of this trend, you certainly increase your winning rate. The price is moving higher for almost four months because each candle represents of one day of trading and it's nearly 80 candles. Therefore, there is a big probability that the trend even going higher. So, you have to look for an opportunity to go long the breakout or enter the market here to enter the market you have to you have to look for the price that is coming to the market structure like here or like here you see that the price is coming to close to the market structure that's where you can enter the market now in order to enter the market you go to one hour time frame lower, one time frame lower, which this is one day of trading. So you go to one hour time frame and look for the price that is coming to the market structure and use price rejection, well-known pattern and formation, candlestick mat blending, or even MACD indicator to help you where you can enter the market safely and you can put your stop loss below the market structure. And that market structure here is dynamic support. And this is the correct way that you can enter the market. How you can find the downtrend direction? This is the price trend ERF stock D1 time frame. I also installed simple moving average with 50 days period now as you can see again here that the price is moving all the time below the simple moving average with 50 days period so this is the characteristics of a strong downtrend and if you trade in the direction of this trend, you certainly increase your winning rate. The trend is moving lower for almost, almost four months. So you have to look for an exit opportunity or you go short. So again, you have to find the places that the price is coming close to the market structure like for example here you go to one 
one time frame lower. This is D1 time frame. That's a higher time frame. You go to one hour time frame and you use again price rejection, candlestick mat blending, formation and pattern, and also MACD indicator in order to precisely and safely uh, exit the market and also put your stop loss above the market structure, which is here dynamic resistant. So this is the correct way to exit the market. What is the characteristics of a strong uptrend? This is the price trend BMO stock D1 time frame. I installed a simple moving average with 50 days period. Now, look at the, the price is making here higher high and higher low. Higher high and higher low. Again, higher high and higher low. This is the characteristics of a strong uptrend. So this power, it goes all the way to the top. Now, along the way, from let's say here, all the way to the top, you can enter the market wherever you mark higher low. You can enter the market higher low you can enter the market this is higher low again now what happened is you have to choose a spot that is close to the market structure this is the market structure which is here uh, that's the simple moving average with 50 days period since the price is above this the sma 50 it considered as dynamic support so Around here, that is close to the market structure, you can enter the market, but you have to go to a lower time frame. This is D1 time frame, which is a one day of trading. You go to H1 time frame, so one step lower. <clears throat> now, now the trend is going all the way here. Look what happened after. It makes higher low and it failed to make higher high it failed to make higher high the trend basically should should be above this area should be above this area this must be above this area that considered as uptrend now it failed to make higher high so it means it means that the the strength and momentum of the trend is near end or near reversal so from here it makes instead of higher high it makes lower high now look what happened next then it makes lower low so lower high lower low lower high lower low that's the characteristics of a strong downtrend so so here that's the place that you can exit the market so the price break down the support and going downward so this is the place that you can exit the market so in order to enter the market first you enter the direction of the trend which which basically this the trend is up upward you have to go to enter the market around here never enter the market around this area because it's going downward so you are going against the direction of the trend around here you should not enter the market around this area because you are going against the direction of the trend so all the time uh, enter the market in the direction of the trend second wait for the price to come close to the market structure like here and third use pattern and formation price rejection candlestick mat blending to enter the market and stop loss use one or two atr below the market structure which is here is dynamic support and ride in a big trend there are some other methods to find the strength of the trend 
and I will show you in the next few slides. So you know that the strength of the trend is very important for you to enter the market. So I'm going to show you some other method in order to find the strength of the trend. In ascending triangle, higher low into resistant result breakout, and this is the sign of a strength. In a strong, in a strong price trend, we have to look for breakout, breakdown, or reversal. That's how traders enter or exit the market and make profit from the stock market. This is the price trend PSI stock D1 time frame, and this is the resistant that have a few touches. That's horizontal resistant, and this is the uh, trend line, which here acts as support area with a few touches. Now, look the trend. What is the behavior of the trend? The price basically it is an uptrend, entering the triangle, and finally it got rejected by the resistant and reverses. The price is is basically uh, moving up and down and making higher low into resistant and finally it hit the resistant area and break uh, break uh, out of the resistant so this is the this is the breakout and moving strongly upward now we see here that it's a it's a uh, powerful bullish move entering the the ascending triangle the majority of the candles you see that is green candle and we have a few red candles here but the majority are green that's a sign of bullish and a strength and the higher low this is the higher low it goes into into resistant and finally break out now in this breakout here what we do as soon as the candle break out of the resistant and closes above the resistant the next candle open above this candle you enter the market and ride on a big trend like this now where you have to put your stop loss this is the place that you put your stop loss. The previous low. That is the previous low. That is the previous low. And you make horizontal line here. And you put your stop loss below this. The swing low. Maybe one or two ATR below this. And uh, make profit from the stock market. Now, this is how you use breakout in ascending triangle. This is another example of support into resistant result breakout, and which is the sign of uh, strength. This is the price trend Tesla stock and the one time frame, Yahoo Finance. And this is the resistance area, horizontal resistance. And this is the trend line act as a support area with almost four touches. Now, the price is originally going upward and uh, basically heading the resistant has a false breakout and then reverses back and hit the support area, make higher low and bounce back. And this completely goes up and down until it hit the resistant and move out. Now look, when it goes inside and bounces it back to support, it makes higher lows and all these higher lows goes into resistant. And look at that, the result. The result is basically showing a strong uptrend going out this is the breakout area now here I would like to explain that 
the this is the breakout the 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 candles uh, it moved out of the resistant and closes above the resistant and as soon as the next candle open above this candle you can enter the market and ride on a big trend now where you can you can you can put your stop loss now this is where you put your stop loss it, in the previous swing low this is the previous swing low here that is the previous swing low and that is that is the stop loss you can put it you you can put your stop loss below this line maybe one or two atr and uh, make profit from the stock market in descending triangle resistant into support result breakdown and this is the sign of strength this is the price trend k stock and the one time frame yo finance this is the resistant area the trend line that act as resistant area with a couple of touches this is the horizontal support area with a couple of touches now we want to know what the behavior of the trend the trend originally going upward and moving bouncing and the first bounce it hit the support and then bounce back hit the resistant making lower high and bounce back and again hit the resistant and again making lower high so these lower high into support makes this a strong a strong breakdown you see the price breakdown here let me explain the price breakdown here and closes below the support below the support now this is break down the support area now the price continue going downward now where are you going to put your stop loss now now if you exit the market here let's say you exit the market right here when the the, the candle closes below the support the next candle as soon as the next candle open lower than the first candle then you exit the market now you put your stop loss exactly there above the previous swing high so you put your stop loss uh, basically above this line maybe one or two atr and then you exit the market properly if the price and volume both rising then we have a strong uptrend that's another form to find a strong uptrend this is the price trend k stock d1 time frame yo finance i installed unbalanced volume obv which measure the volume of trading volume trading refer to the amount of share of an asset traded at a given period of time it's also defined the number of buyers and sellers who usually engage in a stock exchange in a certain period of time in one day the higher the trading volume the stronger uptrend or downtrend will be so that's perfectly good it is a simple tool to detect large trading activity in a stock in the stock market combining volume to price action can be a great help and increase the precision and profitability in deciding whether to enter and exit a trade now let's assume that the price is going upward and making higher high and pull back and making high low we saw this one before this is the characteristics of a strong uptrend that the the trend is making higher high and higher low so 
basically when the trend is making higher high high low that's considered as a strong uptrend and you see the volume is, is increasing too so the trend is increasing and the volume increasing that both the sign of a strong uptrend now if the volume increases as shown in obv obv here you see the volume increases As, as shown in OBV curve, it shows the strength of the market is strong, whether upward or downward. This is upward, and the strength is, is strong. Now, if the price increase, if the price increases, then it shows people buy share more than exit the market. If the price decreases, then people sell their shares more than they buy. In the price trend below here, we see less red candles. You see all of them, they're all green candles. We have just a little bit less, a little red candle. More green candles. The size of the candles, they are relatively large and we have less upper or lower shadow so that means less volatility that is the sign of a strong uptrend you see any time that the the shadows are small and the trend is going upward that is the sign of a strong uptrend we discussed this one in our previous videos there are a very strong clue you can use to enter the trade and make money. Another example combining volume with price action. This is the price trend K stock D1 time frame Yo Finance. I installed unbalanced volume OBV curve. Now look what happened to the price. The price is sharply going up and all the candles basically they're all green candles except we have a few red candle so that shows the strong uptrend and we want to know what is going to happen to obv curve obv curve is making a strong upward so it means the price and the volume it both increasing that's the sign of a strong uptrend let's continue the price is making sharply down so that's a, a strong downtrend you see here again there are basically all the candles are red except one that we have a green candle so that is a strong downtrend now let's see what obv curve is doing OBV curve shows a strong downtrend as well. So it means when the price making downward and the OBV curve make a decreasing shows decreasing, that is the strong, that's the ingredient of a strong down, downtrend. So that's the good place to exit the market. Now let's continue. You see the price is going sideways. The price is going sideways. There is no big fluctuation. The price is in consolidation or build up probably. And people, they stay out. So the, the, the volume must be very, very low. Now let's check, see whether the, what's the volume is doing. The volume is going sideways too. So it means there's no activity going on. So these are there are in line let's continue the price is again moving sharply up you see basically there is no there is no red candles they're all green candle now look at the obv curve the obv curve shows upward so that is again a strong uptrend that's the place that you can enter the market now let's continue the price is making sharply down and as you see 
there are so many red candles and there's only two small green candle so that is a that's a strong downtrend so look at the obv curve the obv curve is showing strong downtrend so it means the price is making downward the obv curve show, showing a, a, a huge decrease so that is a strong downtrend so you can exit the market now let's continue the price is moving upward again and obv curve the same thing so the indicator normally is not an evil but you have to know the price action this way you are aware of the false signal look at the like for example the above example the obv curve telling you there are a huge volume increase in the stock here look in the stock and the price trend shows the same therefore there is a big probability the price continue in your direction that's what that's what you need to know in order to enter the market this portion is downward and the volume shows downward this portion shows in consolidation and build up and sideways the same thing for the volume and upward upward downward downward so that means the the obv curve and also the price they are in line so if you install obv curve that's a good idea but remember first you have to know the price action very good in order to, to avoid false signal and to understand the false signal so this is how you enter the market and make profit from this uh, stock market the power of price action in range market this is the price trend and this is the resistant area with some touches this is a support area with a couple of touches now the price is coming down the price is coming down the coming down into the range strongly coming down into the range and it hit the support and you see this is a big hammer that's a price price reversal the price reverses go toward the resistant and again here it got the price rejection by the resistant and the price bounce back so this bouncing back and forth continue until it hits again the last one in support area and you see that's a big hammer price rejection and the price reverses here go upward and face with the build up here near the uh, resistant area and after these resistant after these build up and consolidation the price break out the resistant and it, it break out the resistant and go out so this is the breakout and after the price move strongly upward now in order to enter the market you have to wait for this candle to close above the resistant and as soon as the next candle open you enter the market and you will put your stop loss below the range or below the build up maybe one or two atr below the build up now these are the area that you exit the market near the resistant and these are the area where you enter the market you enter the market around here now in range in range bond the buyers is trying to go long at support here and put their stop loss below the support around this area and the sellers is trying to go short near the resistance and put their stop loss above the resistance here 
let's assume for a moment the price in in range bond has five touches let's say we have one two three four five five touches here therefore it will accumulate five stop loss above resistance and let's say it has six touches in support and therefore it will accumulate six touches below the support now if the price break out the resistant here like here break out the resistant it will trigger the five stop loss and the price will go upward with a big momentum as you see now if the price break down the support here it will trigger the six stop loss below the support and it create a huge downtrend momentum now we conclude that the longer the market is in range the more stop loss will be will be triggered because probably you have 10 10 touches and resistant and 15 touches in support so you have more stop loss that it will be triggered and add more pressure to the upside or downside momentum the idea is to find a strong breakout like this the resistant or break down the support to enter or exit the market and make profit from the stock market this is the power of the price action and you see it has nothing to do with indicator so i appreciate all the traders they pay more attention to price action That's all folks. If you like this video, thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time.